Bring me something soon if you can, Arthur. Yeah, I will. Well done, Mr. Morgan. How's it going? Fine, but make sure you get a good price for it. Yes, Kieran. Uh, Thank uh, you. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. Can that be toasted enough? Them. Not the best. <sighs> Me too. Uncle Arthur! Uncle Arthur! What's up, kid? Not much. Well, I had fun fishing. Yeah, me too. So, I lost Mama's thimble. I was playing with it and <laughs> just lost it. Oh, okay. She's going to kill me. I don't think she'd care too much. It's only a thimble. Oh, no. She will kill me. Well, maybe I can find you another one. You can give it to her. Oh, that would be fine. Thanks, Arthur. What you preparing for? The greatest of gifts. An unguarded stagecoach. No, you simple-minded fool. Bison. Bison? Bison. From which you can get anything. There's some over on the plains, I believe. I saw a couple a long way off. Oh. Right? Good luck. You want to come with me? I'll show you how we hunt one. Sure. Why not? Mount up, then. Let's go. Before my time, of course, but my mother used to tell me stories of how her tribe moved with the bison. They lived almost as one. Where the bison went, my people went. And they were the center of all life. We couldn't survive without them. They provided us with everything. Food, clothing, shelter, tools. There was a lot of respect. Huh. I don't remember much of my childhood, but I think my people... Well, we pretty much moved with the whiskey. <laughs> well, my father did that too. Let's try over here, to the left. Over there. He 
see them all? Incredible, aren't they? We should only kill one of them. I'll keep them ringed in, and you see if you can bring one down. Okay? Clean as you can. Okay. Butchers. Take the horns, too. It can all be used. Job. Stow that on your horse and mount up. I wanna go check something out. Okay, let's go. Where are we going? I thought I saw some scavenger birds over here. Just wanted to see what attracted them. like why would someone do that i don't know but i see tracks heading in this direction i say we follow them all right lead the way been dead a couple of days at least come on boy Could it have been an animal? No, they've been shot. I just don't know why anybody would just leave them here to rot like that. Look, another dead bison. On the hill to the right. Come on. Shot and left for dead again. But this one looks fresher. There's a camp there. I'm gonna take a look. since they left? Bison's been dead about the same amount of time. So what do you want to do? They could still be in the area. Let's get up higher, see if we spot anything. <laughs> this way. We should have a good view from up here. Okay. You see anything? Arthur, look. Smoke to the north. Could be another camp. Let's go check it out. Bastards. Just killing for fun. Think we can talk? I don't kill for fun. I kill when I need to. Look, more 
that bison. It has to be them. Come on. Wait up. Did you fools shoot those bison? Calm down, you black or red bastard, whatever the fuck you are. Did you shoot them? Yes, we did. We shot them bison. We'll shoot you too if you don't get. What business is it of yours? What? We. <sighs> it's that business of mine! Good God, you're crazy! I got a family. A family. Don't shoot me. Stand back, Charles. I'll get you some answers. What the hell are you doing? Why are you killing those bison and leaving them to rot? I don't know what you're talking about. God damn it, tell us or you're dead. Oh, okay. We were paid to kill as many as we could and make it look like it was Indians. Just kill him, Arthur. No, please don't kill me. I'm begging you. All right, get out of here. Just don't, don't shoot me, mister. I got a family. Then run away. Why did you do that? He didn't need to die. Maybe he'll go tell his friends now what happens to poachers. I've seen enough of this. I'm heading back. Okay. I'm going to see if there's anything worth taking from their camp. I'll catch up with you later.
Careful there. Yep, yep. Let's go, boy.
Get here. Stop right there. This is the law. I shall hold it. One more move and you're going to go. Please, Lord. Uh. Do you want to make an enemy? Stay where you are and await my command. You got one more Okay, boy. Let's go.
Many thanks. Just in time, Mr. Morgan. Good job, Mr. Morgan. Oh, Mr. Morgan. I've jotted down a few things that I think could be uh, nice additions around here. I reckon I'm gonna think about it. Good morning. Always good to see you. Watch the wind doesn't change. Oh, shut up, Arthur. Wouldn't want that face to freeze. All right then, Arthur. My lady. Good morning, Arthur. You good, Abigail? Good morning. I know you like a good cup of coffee. Nothing better. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. Okay. How are you? Good will. That's the spirit.
You're all right, boy. Hold on. Man has a way of remembering the face of the person who tried to murder him. Don't cross me. If you want me to keep that overnight, there's room in the stable. I have chores to attend to, so let's get this over with. Best to have a good saddle that'll hold up. Adding on to a saddle helps personalize it. That's a nice addition on a saddle. Adding on to a saddle helps personalize it. Oh, 
always good to have one of those. Good saddles is almost as important as a good horse. That's a good choice. Better the saddle, better the ride. Must be disappointed I don't go down so easy. Well, get used to it. And don't cross me again. Hey, cat. I will get the law. I mean it. Hey, kitty. What's your story, huh? Look out, mister. Just leave me alone. So, feeling better? How's the scar? I heal pretty fast. Lucky you. So you just lazing about, or you got any leads? I got something. You see them? Sure. Well, you see yourself as a shepherd now? <laughs> Maybe. Come on. Well, where exactly are we going? Collect something. Help us get some sheep. Uh, you know, that attempt to seem all enigmatic and interesting, that might work for Dutch, but for you, it just makes you look stupid. Come along. You'll see. That train job was a start, but we need more money. Until we can get back to Blackwater and collect. I'm here to tell you. We try to collect that money anytime soon, it'll come with a noose. I was worried you'd say that. Dutch says that we... Dutch says a lot. That's his gift. Saying things. Oh, yeah? What do you mean by that? I was the prize pony once. Now I'm the workhorse. Listen, Dutch is... But... But, well, you was at that thing in Blackwater. We already seen Pinkerton's here. New century's coming. This life, this way, well, we're the last, I reckon. And we ain't long for it. Then that's the way it goes, I guess. For me, yes. All right. So where are we going? Just need to pick up something. There's a hitching post over there. Tether the horse and I'll meet you across the street. I already don't like how this is going.
Easy, girl. Wait. I've been better. Stay fast. Things will turn around. Gun store. Yep. Can you, uh, head in? Pick up a sniper rifle? I'll explain later. Don't you wear yourself out now. Hello. How can I help you today? Looking for a rifle? Something with a sight on it. Eh, yeah, shouldn't be a problem. If you want to see what we've got, it's all in the catalog here. I'm going to have to take this on credit. Uh, well, no, wait, we ain't even discussed terms. Or I can take it in a way that ain't so polite. Okay, okay, fine, you can uh, pay me later. Sure. Let's go. Why couldn't you have done that? Done what? Bought that gun. Ah, I had a run in with that fella earlier. We ain't on the best of terms. You had a run-in. I've had a run-in with half that town. Calm down. It's done now, ain't it? Why are you being so cagey about all this? Always playing some goddamn game. Me? I ain't the one taking Jack on fishing trips. No, you ain't. If you say the boy ain't yours, what's the difference? You probably only run off again. Why are you so interested in my life? Ain't you got one of your own? Just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once, that's all I'm saying. It ain't that simple. You know that as well as anyone. Same as with you and that girl... What was her name, Mary? That was different. No, it ain't. Just the same. Anyway, for the love of God, will you tell me what you got me doing here before I turn around and hit the breeze? There's a herd of sheep coming down to auction from Emerald Ranch. Folk in town were saying the owner's trying to stamp out every farm from here to Ansburg. Yeah, I know that place.
So I'm thinking that the herd will make it to auction all right, but a couple of new ranch hands will be collecting on the sale. Doubt the town will care to notice too much. Why we need this rifle you couldn't buy yourself. Reckon we shouldn't get too close. At least not till we know what we're dealing with. Let's see what we can see from up here. Okay, I think that's them over there. The one now? Put a shot in near them. I reckon they'll hightail it. They're only ranch hands. Just watch the sheep. <laughs> Go on, give them a warning shot. Something close enough to make them cut and run. Well, looks like one of them don't scare too easy. Put another shot in the gloves. He'll get the message. to do it. All right. Let's go round them up. Let's go get the strays. You ever work on a ranch, Marston? No. You? Oh, day here or there, but not much. Most cowboys I know were dumb as trees. How hard could it be? I guess we'll soon find out. Let's get these things. Bring them back to the yards. Come on! They're pretty scattered. Let's get them all rounded up. Sheep to me. You ride Shank. Keep watch for any trouble. I brought you in on this. It'll be quicker this way. Trust me. This ain't the right time for you to be learning how to herd. All right, whatever you say. I'm done arguing. Yeah. Got it? Quickest route back to Valentine is right around that mountain. Okay. Like I said, I'll handle this. Yeah, yeah! Yeah. 
Those are up, boys. There you go. Fine sheep. They're okay. Well, you seem better around here. I've seen ones with less ambiguity about their provenance. <laughs> A lot less. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say you give me 25% kickback, and I won't say nothing to nobody. Everything all right here? Excuse me? Sure. I'll excuse you for 25%. Do you want me to put another hole in your head? Folks swing for rustling livestock. 25%. 15. 20. 18. Done. Calm yourself, friend. Just think of it as I'm buying your sins. Uh, you're buying, but we're paying. Go on now. Come back after the auction. You'll get your money. Dutch is waiting for us at the saloon. He is? Yeah. Eighteen percent. I thought we was doing the robbing here. Still good money. Thanks for all the help with this. Can't herd, can't swim. Give it a rest, will you? We ain't kids no more. No, we never really was. <laughs> Come on, sunshine. I'll buy you a whiskey. After in the you, air. sir. I don't believe in absolutes, just shades of gray. Compromises. Compromises. Well, I have never been a man for compromising. Uh, gentlemen. Dutch, Leopold. Where have you been? Working. Marston's thing. Good. And? We're just waiting to get some pay on a few sheep. Leopold, my good friend, as long as you're here, why don't you and John go make sure there ain't no Funny business. Of course. Gentlemen. Drink? Sure. <clears throat> Nothing like talking to old Strauss to make you want to blow your own brains out. I should have left him where I found him all those years ago. Bookish little Austrian, fresh off the boat, his eyes out on stalks. Well, I guess the Dutch Vanderlyn finishing school has some strange graduates. That it does. To your good health. Thank you. Vanderland! Get out here! Get out what here the now! <sighs> Vanderland! You don't know me, but you keep robbing me! My name is Leviticus Cornwall. I am not a man to be messed with by the likes of you! Get out here! 
before I have these men killed. What do you think? Get out here, well, I... you depraved piece of trash! You start spinning a yarn, and when I think the moment's you right, I'll make a move. You I got where I am by letting scum like you rob from me? Vandalin, you're done! Now get out here now! Deal with this nonsense. Please. Gentlemen, this is a terrible mistake. This is a case of mistaken identity. What is worse than admonishing a man for the sins of another? Who wants to be the Messiah? Not me, nor do I want to be this Dutch Vanderlyn, whomever he may be. I am Archibald
Hurry up, Arthur. Let's get out of here. You make sure nobody's following us. We'll get back to camp. We're gonna gather the troops and get them to start packing up. Sure. We can't stick around after this. Let's go! <laughs> What the hell happened in Valentine with you and John? We survived just, but we can't stay here for long. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Take care, Arthur. 